Good day, human Latiosites. This is Latios Azuvril, and welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Violet. So let's get this started in English, shall we? Alright, so first we want to choose a look for ourselves. Alright, let's go with this one, I guess. Sure. Um... All right. Let's do this. So, are you ready to start the game with these settings? Wait a minute, we can change the hairstyle in the beginning? They actually let you just start with That is actually... Oh. Um... So, I guess those are the options. Interesting. Ah, let's just go with the standard one. Unless, wait a minute, we can actually... So you can also change the hair color. Interesting. Well... Interesting. You know what? Let's go with this. Make it look a little bit different. Okay. Sure, why not? So, change look. So you can actually change the eye stuff. Interesting. Before even starting the game, you get these options. Interesting. Now let's go with the blue eyes. Um, okay. Let's go. We are ready to go. Uh, usually you don't get to do any kind of uh, customization until much later. But there we go. So, enrollment application to the, to the UVA Academy. Alright, let's go. Enrollment complete. Whenever you see now saving on the screen, your progress is being automatically saved. You can disable it at any time. Okay, good to know. Hmm. UVA Academy. Leading the way into the future while valuing our individuality. Ah. It's time for you two to dive into the world of Pokémon. <laughs> Director Clavel, head of the UVA Academy. Paldia is a sprawling region bursting with lush nature and magnificent landscapes. It is also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known to us as Pokémon. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. Aww. Cute. Pokémon can be found living all over in sea, in the sea, in the skies, even in the cities and towns. We humans coexist with Pokémon, as we both help one another to live and thrive. UVA Academy is here to help you learn even more about these precious partners. Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study together. And as our Pokémon trainers, um, they have their Pokémon do battle, growing alongside them. 
while our robust curriculum of coursework helps our students draw forth their fullest potential. It is within these halls that you will find your friends, your Pokémon. We, the faculty and staff of Uber Academy, can't wait to welcome you with our open arms. Ah, so this is a commercial. Got it. Um... Interesting. Pokemon Violet. Well, see some interesting new Pokemon, that's cool. And are those Tauros? Whoa. Well then, um, um, did Miraidon just crash into the ocean? Well, oh, hey. You know what, at least we got a nice little preview at some of the new Pokemon we're going to see, I guess, on our journey. That's kind of cool. Alright. That is quite the opening. Certainly. Um... Get up. That's a very passive-aggressive view game. But, I guess here we got walk. Okay. Uh, that's a lot of auto-saving. It's a new Nintendo Switch system. This one's got a bigger screen. Oh, is that the OLED? I don't have an OLED, but whatever. <laughs> it's a map of the Paldea region. This house would be down the lower part. Interesting. Was oh, that a Scovet thing? It's a Scovet plush made with a care using nice soft materials. Is that a Krogunk pillow as well? Or a ball? Your bag and hat are hanging, but it's not time to get them yet. A soft, fluffy little bed. Oh, and I, I see they still do the whole thing with the Switch um, Joy-Cons are the ones you're using. That's kind of cool. Oh, this is Squobat. Okay, um... Alright, um... I'm gonna turn off autosave for right this second because I don't really feel like... I don't feel like having it tell us that it's saving every five seconds. <laughs> All right. I'll squall that. Good morning, Eric. Oh, already in your uniform and everything? Well, it is your first day at your new school, after all. I'm so excited for you. Still, you might want to cool your engines before you go out racing out the door. The school contacted me and said that you're supposed to wait a little longer. Their words, not mine. Apparently, there's something very important for your first day, and it still hasn't arrived. Maybe that's the very thing we've been waiting for. Eric, get the door, would you? Sure. Once I figure out where the door is. Do forgive the intrusion. You are Master Eric, yes? On behalf of the Academy, I must apologize for the late arrival of your enrollment documents, uh, and also for my delay in introducing myself. I am the director of UVA Academy. You may call me Mr. Clavel. The director? And you came in person to help my son with his first day? Well, I am responsible for the entire Academy, including any failures on its part. 
So here at last are the enrollment documents that should have already been delivered to you. Goodness, you really needn't have... Since you've come all the way, can I at least offer you a cup of tea? Ah, uh, no need to trouble yourself. Eric. You've got a thing or two to discuss with the director here. Why don't you head back up to your room and finish getting ready for school? You'll need your bag and your hat as well. Now, Mr. Clavel, you simply must join me for a cuppa. This way? Well, how can I refuse such a kind offer? Alright, so... I guess the guy in charge of the school is going to be, uh dealing with us here. That's kind of interesting. It's rare for head of school to actually get involved in anything. Hmm. Alright. Cool. Well, anything with an uh, individual student, that is. Alright, let's go get our stuff. Alright. So, our adventure guide pulling off. So that's the adventure guide. Interesting. Too bad we don't have running shoes. Okay, so I guess the camera is the... Interesting. Oh, just look at you. All ready for your big first day. Yes, the uniform of our storied academy suits you quite well indeed. Oh gracious, how very careless of me. I had entirely forgotten that I have something else for you, Master Eric. A most important thing, but your living room is hardly the place for it. Would you care to follow me outside? I wonder what this important thing might be. Let's follow the director and out and see what's going on. Okay, sure. All right, outside we go. Right then, dear Pokemon, time to come out of your Pokeballs. All right, so we get our starter now. We provide each student entering the academy a Pokemon of their own. I'll ask you to choose which among these three Pokemon you'd like to have as your partner. Sprigatito, the grass cat Pokemon. Aww. It's way Coco, the fire croc Pokemon. <laughs> and Quaxley, the duckling Pokemon. They're all very good company. Why, they usually refuse to even leave my side. What's this? Hmm, so it turns out they're more interested in you, Master Eric, than familiar old me. I do wish I could stay and see which one you'll choose, but I must be off uh, to my next home visit. I'll be at the house just over there. Take your time with your decision, then come find me once your mind is made up. Now, if you'll excuse me, until next we meet. What a manly fellow that director of yours is. These three are all lovely, but you need to choose just one, right? Not an easy task. Why not take this opportunity to walk about with uh, these little ones and get to know them first? I'm sure they'll have lots to teach you. Oh, before you go, I got a little something to celebrate your big day. Take it with you if you're going out on your own. With that, we got the Rotom phone. Cool, it's the latest model smartphone. A Pokemon called Rotom lives within it, and it can be used to run all sorts of handy apps. It's a brand new phone. According to the instructions, you can check the map flap by pressing the Y button. It'll help keep you from getting lost, so take good care of your new gadget, okay? Now off you go, have fun. All right, so we want to walk around with these three Pokemon.
Oh, okay, cool. We can actually control the... Whoa. We can control the camera as well. Starting the camera app, you can start the camera app by pressing the down button, move the camera freely to snap pictures. Uh, when you want to take fancy and fun photos, try pressing the left and right button to change filters. Interesting. Where are the Pokemon? Okay, so I guess we can't get pictures with them. That's sad, and I'm sorry if I got anyone dizzy just now. Oops. We also don't have, don't have like, running shoes or anything. Where are the other two? Well then, I do think it's kind of cool we get to walk around with all three of them before we make our decision. But, I still do have a decision to make, because honestly, I still don't know which starter to go with. <laughs> honestly, I like all three of them. Cabo Poco. Wait a minute, we can run? This is Cabo Poco, it's not much. Just a little pinch of community, but it's home. Whoa. The power of science is amazing! If you connect with friends, you can head out on adventures together. Up to four of you at a time. Cool. Alright. I guess we have unlocked the running feature now. Interesting. Not sure why we couldn't run before, but okay. But alas... We've made it. Um... <laughs> Cute! Are you these three's trainer? Not quite. Master Eric has yet to make his choice, you see. I do wonder which of the which of them will you choose to be your partner? Okay, so I guess now we have to make our decision. Us. We haven't met, have we? I must say, I wasn't expecting to see you here quite so soon. Hang on, Director. Is this who I think it is? Yes, this is our Academy's newest student, Master Eric. He will be attending as of today. So, you're that kid who moved in up the road. I've been dying to find out more about you. I am Nimona. Normally I live in the school dorms, but home is here. What do you say, new neighbor? Wanna be friends? Sure. Love that enthusiasm. We're gonna get along just fine. Miss Nimona is, uh, is president of our school council and a champion ranked trainer in her own right. I absolutely love Pokemon battling. In fact, we should battle right now, you and me. Easy now, you two will be, uh, will be in the same class, so you'll have plenty of time to battle later. And get to know one another better, of course. We're gonna be neighbors and classmates! Nice! We'll be able to battle all we want! 
On that note, Master Eric. Have you decided which of these Pokemon you would like to be your first partner? That is a good question. I don't know. I actually really like all three of them. Um... Um? That's Quaxly, a water-type Pokemon. It may seem quiet, but its mighty streams of water can put out any fire, you'll see. Would you like to go with our good water type Pokemon, Quaxly, here? Uh, we'll think about it. That's Sprigatito, a grass type Pokemon. It can use its plant powers to soak up whatever water you throw at it. Would you like to go with our good grass type Pokemon, Sprigatito, here? And finally. That's Flacoco, a fire-type Pokemon. The burning hot sparks that scatters will fry, and, um, uh, fry any and all plants in a flash. Would you like to go with our good fire-type Pokemon, Flacoco, here? I don't know. Um, I really do like all three of them, honestly. You know what? We're doing this. We're going Quaxly. Let's do it. Let's do it. We are picking Quaxly. Alright. So we chose Quaxly. Give it a nickname. Um... I'm gonna pass on the nickname for right now. If I think of a name, maybe we can rename them later. So with that, we chose Quaxly. So cute. Quaxly seems to have taken quite a liking to you, Master Eric. This is your first Pokemon, yes? Please raise it with love, with love and care. And of course, be sure to keep it tucked safely inside a Pokeball. Alright. Eric, I can't believe you actually chose Quaxly. I mean, like, way to make the perfect choice for you. You two make such a good combo. Can I choose one of these Pokemon too, Director Clavel? Oh, but did you not receive a Pokemon when you entered the Academy, Miss Nimona? Not back then, no. I had other Pokemon I was focused on raising at the time. But now I want to raise a new Pokemon alongside Eric while he raises his own new partner. Indeed, a rather splendid idea. If you wish to raise one of these Pokemon on equal footing with Master Eric, I shall be more than happy to allow it. Ah. Well, I was really close to picking Play Coco, not gonna lie. But, you know. I guess I gotta kinda go Quaxly. Although, Play Coco seemed to like me. It was, it was the one following closely behind us. Since Eric chose Quaxly, I'll go for this little one. Nice to meet you, Fue Coco. Welcome to the team. Oh, you're taking Fue Coco. All right, you know what? Fair enough. Can't blame you. All right, then. Now that we've chosen our Pokemon, we have to battle. I'll be waiting for you down at the beach. Come join me when you're ready. As you may have noticed, Miss Nimona is a tad overly fond of Pokemon battling, but I do hope you'll join her for, the, um, for a battle. It'll help you get to know your Pokemon as well. Alright, so we want to go find Nimona. Cool. So, let's go look for Nimona. Whoa. Okay. Here we are on the beach. Can we just go in the water or are we... We managed to scramble back to the, out of the water. Okay, so... I guess drowning's not a thing. This is certainly not Legends Arceus. Okay. 
Anyone can be a Pokemon trainer as long as they have Pokemon by their side. And it's our duty as trainers to help po our Pokemon grow stronger through battle. So, you ready to battle me, Eric? Sure. Perfecto! I'm so excited. For this battle, I think I'll use... Miss Nimona. I trust you remember that Master Eric is wholly inexperienced in Pokemon battling. <laughs> Whoops. Good call, Director. I was about to send out one of my usual partners right off the bat. I guess I'll take this chance to try out my new buddy instead. Ah, uh, because, yeah, there's no way we'd be with her, uh... One of her stronger Pokemon, I suppose. We just, you know, never battled before. Come on, Eric. Let's have us a fruitful battle. So we're challenging my Pokemon trainer, Nimona. Alright, she is, of course, using Play Coco while we use Quaxly. Alright. I know this is your first Pokemon battle, so let's just have some fun. Alright. Sure. We do have Water Guns, so this should be, like, a guaranteed win. You'd think she would kind of know better. We must be studying up. Smart move. Water is strong against fire. So why would you use Ember? She's intentionally throwing the match. She's clearly desperate to be our friend. That's what it really comes down to, isn't it? Alright, sorry, Play Coco. Alright, well, with that, Waxley grew to level 6. Wow, not bad, neighbor. Alright, so we got 300 bucks in prize money. Cool. Look at you winning your first battle ever. You've got even more potential than I thought. You're gonna be a strong Pokemon trainer for sure. But now I want to try a different strategy. Let's go again. Just one more battle. Master Eric and his Quaxley are surely weary already from that last battle. Ah, sorry. I got kind of caught up in all the excitement. I'm really sorry, Eric. Same to you, Quaxley. I don't worry about it. <laughs> Alright, thanks. You two seem to be becoming fast friends, though you've only just met. Can I count on you to take your new schoolmate un uh, here under your wing, Miss Nimona? I'm sure he can learn a great deal from a champion rank trainer such as yourself. You bet, sir. Oh, that reminds me. Since you're new to training Pokemon, there's an app you definitely need. You have a smartphone, right? Let me see it for a sec. So we got the Pokedex app added to our Poke um, to our Rotom phone. The Pokedex will automatically register any Pokemon you catch. It's a must-have for trainer for Pokemon trainers. It's super handy uh, as an app. Our homeroom teacher, Mr. Jacques, uh, actually made it himself. Back in my day, we used ordinary paper and handwritten notes to compile our Pokedexes. It's quite the age we live in now. <laughs> Filling out a Pokedex by hand? I can't even imagine how much work that would be. Oof, I can only imagine. Wonder what it was like back in Hisui with uh, recording the first ever Pokedex catalog. Oof. Ho ho ho. No, I suppose you can't. Yet no matter how many how much time may change, the wonder of meeting new Pokemon never does. That is a truly timeless pleasure. And the more Pokemon that you encounter, the more you'll find yourself growing and changing. I hope you will both work hard for the goal of completing your own Pokedexes. Now, Miss Nimona, I do still have a few matters to discuss with your parents. Could I depend on you to see Master Eric to the Academy? You would be doing me quite the favor. Of course, leave it to me. Then I leave him in your capable hands. Alright, little one, it's time you and I were on our way. I guess we're going to battle Clavel at, one po at some point in the game, and he'll have the uh, Sprigatito, I guess. That's what it seems like. Maybe I ought to make a little more time to work on my Pokedex, along with all of my battling. 
Oh, right. Speaking of Pokedexes, Eric, you've probably never caught a, po a wild Pokemon, right? I'll show you the ropes before I take you to the academy. Come with me. Alright, let's go learn how to catch wild Pokemon. Alright, we can open the Pokedex, press X, get in the bag. Oh, saving is when you press R. Got it. Boxes. So this automatically gets us into the storage system. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so... Oh, and the Pokemon are actually in the... You can see that while you have the bag open. Interesting. Alright, so the Pokedex is probably one of the... Wait a minute, we can change uniforms? Interesting. So we can do that on the go. Well then. Where did Nimona go? Uh. Um. Oh, hello there, a bunch of Pache Risu and a Chansey. Oh. <laughs> Picture of Finion and Luminion. Do be careful on the way to school, Master Eric. My apologies, both the master and mistress of the house are away at present. Aha. Uh -huh. I take it they're quite wealthy considering the size of the house and, um, well, all of that. I think I found a Mona. The teeny fountain. Oh yeah, this is quite the estate. Whoa. Yep, this is certainly not Legends Arceus. If this were Legends Arceus, I would have just died just there. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Oh, Eric. I hear that Nimona here will be taking you to school. That's right, ma'am. Leave it to me. So you've already managed to make a friend. And I read about all the wonderful teachers you'll you'll have looking out for you at school. Plus, so many handy facilities you can use as much as you like. Add in your new friend, Nimona, and it sounds like your school life is shaping up to be fantastic. Now you'll be staying in the school dorm, so... I want you to promise me you'll eat proper meals. Here's a bit of spending money to start off with. I also packed a lunch for your first day. So we got a sandwich from Mom. A dish made by sandwich... By sandwiching vegetables, meat, and other ingredients between two pieces of bread. It makes a fantastic meal when out in a picnic. Oh, and maybe you'd better take these two. We got five potions. Cool. Use them on that precious little partner of yours. And it should get, um, if it should get hurt in battle. I know every day in your new life is going to be full of exciting memories far from home. Just try to savor them all. The good times and the hard times too. But if you ever want to come back home, you know your bed is always ready for you. Oh, alright then. You two had better be off, I suppose. Take care on your way to school. Your mother's so nice. Oh, but I was going to teach you how to catch wild Pokemon. Come on. Vamos! Alright, yes, let's go. This way?
All right, follow Nimona. Okay. So there are Wingle, Magikarp. I can't tell what that one thing is, and it looks like Lechonk. All right. Poco Path. All right. This here is Poco Path. It's the path that leads um, to adventure for you and me. Out here, things are different than in town. You're going to see wild Pokemon out and about. They'll be on the path and in the grass and such. Get too close to one, you'll have to battle. But you've got Quaxley for that, right? And if you want to try to catch Pokemon, you got to use good old Pokeball. I've got tons. I have a few. With that, we got only five. A ripoff. All right. Oink, oink. Oh, what luck! Time for some um, for some learning by doing. Try battling this Lechonk, Eric. All right. All right. So we want to deal damage and try to catch this thing. So let's pound it. It's gonna whip its tail at us. All right. Let's catch this thing. Or at least the X for the Pokeball is still there. That's kind of convenient. I hope they still have it read updates, whatever the last Pokeball you used is. But with that, we caught Lechonk. All right. Lechonk's stat has been added to the Pokedex. This Pokemon spurns all but the finest of foods. Its body gives off an herb-like scent the bug Pokemon detest. The hog Pokemon Lechonk. I should name it, but honestly, I, I really can't give it a name better than Lechonk. Not gonna lie. I, I, I just... yeah. They're... <laughs> Not gonna beat that name. Haha! Hala! That was awesome! You caught the, you, you caught the very first Pokemon you went for! I'm crummy when it comes to actually catching Pokemon. Maybe you should be gi should give me tips. Anyway, have some more Pokeballs just in case. Not every catch works out. Oh, cool. Ten more. Awesome. You know what? You're pretty cool. Thanks. Weaken the Pokemon, then throw the Pokeball. Remember that, and you'll be fine. Now, go battle those wild Pokemon and catch some of them. Let's meet up at that lighthouse over there. You can see our school from the top. Alright, the Pokemon you see wandering around in tall grass caves and elsewhere are wild Pokemon. You can try to catch them. You can also start a battle by looking toward a wild Pokemon and throwing one of your Pokeballs at them by using the ZR button. Try using this tactic out in, um, to battle Pokemon in the sky. Okay, so it's kind of like Legends. Is that a spider? Alright, let's not. Maybe another time. Ooh, a Pokeball. We got a potion. Oh, hello there. Hello, Fletchling. Alright. Let's pound it. Are there guaranteed... I guess this isn't really a root, but like the root one guaranteed catches? Is that a thing in this game? Let's go! You got a Fletchling! Alright, Quaxley through to level 7. Awesome. Fletchling is added to the Pokedex. Fletchling can be found in both rural and urban areas. They once had a huge shepherd trail dispute with Squawkabilly. Fights broke out all over town. Alright, let's call you the Tiny Robin Pokemon. Let's call you... 
Um, Tiny Robin, I'll call you Robin. Alright, added to the Pokedex. Ooh, a revive. That's, I guess, cool. A little later, let's chunk. That's a scatter bug. I mean, I wouldn't object to a to a Vivalon. Definitely do worse. Got a potion. Hello there, Hopip. Definitely could do worse than a jump fluff. Alright, let's catch off it. The question is, do I want to go after a scatterbug? I mean, I don't see any... I don't see the harm. Hmm. Alright, well, either way, we got Hoppip. Outside of cold regions, Hoppip can be found practically everywhere. This is because the wind carries this species all over the world. The cotton weed Pokemon Hoppip. Let's call you Jumps. Alright. Jumps is added to the party and Hopip is added to the Pokedex. Um... Got a le uh, berry. That's something. Hmm. Um. Okay, we got a revive. And all right, we are getting in battle with Scatterbug. All right. You know what? If you can take this pound, I'll catch you. Oh yeah, you're really taking it. In fact, you're the first one that actually is dealing damage to us. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, we caught Shatterbug. This Pokemon scatters poisonous powder to repel enemies. It will eat different plants depending on where it lives. The scattered us Pokemon Scatterbug. Um Let's call you What can I call you? Let's call you Vivian. Alright, so Scatterbug is added to the Pokedex. Um... Oh, hello there! You are... Palmy. Okay, is it a guaranteed patch? Let's find out. I don't think it's guaranteed. Maybe it is! Palmy was caught! Alright. Getting some uh, levels here. Jumps learn Tail Whip. The pads of its paws are electricity discharging organs. Palmy fires electricity from its forepaws while standing unsteadily on its hind legs. The mouse Pokemon, Palmy. Aw, alright. Let's call you... 
Um, oh, I didn't mean to do that, but I guess... Alright, we got Palmy. Are we able to rename... Hold on, we can... You have... So your terra type is electric. Bug. Grass. Normal. Normal. And water. Okay, so none of them have unique terra types. Do they, even, do they need to be from a, um... From like a terra raid or something to have a unique terra type? Oh, wow, there's a whole horde of Pokemon. What is this thing? It is Tarantula. Okay, that name's kind of funny. Alright, so I guess it's a spider of some sort. Or an arachnid. Alright, there we go. We caught Tarantula! And Robin learned Quick Attack. The thread it secretes from its rear is as strong as wire. The secret behind the thread's strength is the topic of ongoing research. The Sting Ball Pokemon Tarantula. Nah, I'm just gonna let it go to the box. Alright. But Tarantula's data is added to the Pokedex. Well, I mean, hey, we're catching a bunch of Pokemon, that's pretty cool. Hello there, Wingle. How are you doing, buddy? Wingle is actually one of my favorite Pokemon from Gen 3, and that's saying a lot. I love a lot of Pokemon from Gen 3. I mean, Wingle's not my favorite Pokemon from Gen 3, obviously, but definitely, definitely one of them. Alright, so... It rides upon ocean winds as if it were a glider. In the winter, it hides food from its nest. The seagull Pokemon, Wingle. Alright, let's call you Wings. Alright, I'm gonna let you go to the box because we already do have a water type on our team. But, I am really, really, it is really nice to see Wingle here. So that's pretty cool. Um... That's just a hop up shadow, I guess. Alright. Hey, Eric. You get in the hang of how to catch Pokemon, okay? Let me see. So far, you've caught... Go? Whoa, what was that? Go- oh. I I've never heard that kind of cry before. Could be some strong Pokemon or ahead. I say we find whatever that made that cry. Let's take a look around. Just be careful. There's a kind of unsafe cave not far from here, so steer clear. And I know your Rotom phone can help you, um, can help keep you safe, but watch your stuff around these cliffs, okay? Gotta find the source of the mysterious cry. Got it. Is that Hapini? We can't head this way. Lovely. Well, hey, we're getting an ether. Potion. Okay. 
Ah, so if we wanted the Hippini, we'd have to be up on the cliff, I guess. I'm very confused. Why is there a Hapini on the thing? Okay, I guess this is where we wanted to go. Um, what is... Whoa. Something seems to be hurt. Wow. Uh. Whoa. Oh dear. Um. Oh, so the Rotom phone can literally save us from when we fall down a cliff. That is, that is actually kind of cool. All right, we should probably help that thing. Hello. The mysterious Pokemon seems to be too weak to move. Maybe you can give it something to help it perk up. Uh, here, have a sandwich. Sure. There you go. Yeah? Here you go, have my lunch. Ah, oh, you look you look like you're feeling better. Happy to help. Glad I could help. Um, going somewhere? Whoa. Okay, that's kind of cool. This... Gotta say, this is actually a cool Pokemon. Kind of weird, and it's heading off into a cave. Do we follow? Or do we head back to Nimona? How do we even head back to Nimona? We're down a cliff. We literally fell down a cliff. Um, well, clearly it wants to be left alone. Managed to scramble back out of the water. Okay. Well... Literally run out to let ourselves drown. Yep, this certainly isn't Legends Arc, I guess. Okay. Hello there. Oh, are you trying to lead us out of here? I think it's trying to help us out. I don't know, maybe it's not. Maybe it's maybe it's a trap. Are you okay? You're not hurt, right? I'm fine. Thank goodness, I was really worried. If you've gotten hurt because I said we, if I sh that we should go looking for whatever made that cry. 
Now, never mind that. Right now, we've got to focus on getting you back up here. We've got to find some way to climb out of that, uh, out of there. If you can get close enough, I'll try pulling you up with one of the Pokemon moves. All right, well, let's get this item. We got a potion. Oh, thank you. Oh, that was amazing. That Pokemon might be, might be as strong as mine. Maybe even stronger. Hello there, young goose. Alright, we're getting another potion. I diglet. Oh, I don't think we... You know what it is? I don't think we can run ahead of the, um... The Miraidon, I think. Oh, no. It's a horde of Hound Hour. Oh, never mind. It's got it. Okay. Thanks for your help getting out of here, but I want to get that item I saw. I thought I saw an item. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm losing it. No, there it is. Heads up, some pretty rough stuff's coming out. But I got your back. Alright. Alright. Ah, okay. Thanks for the help. Alright, you're gonna keep going? Oh my gosh! It straight up pulverized those rocks! wonder what that move was. Man, I wanna see it up close. Eric, look out! Something's coming! Behind you! It's behind you! Oh, hello there, Houndoom. We got a type advantage on you. Mm. Alright, I guess we're battling. Level 40? There's no way you can run from this opponent. Oh yeah, you're not attacking us for real. What? What is happening? We're being attacked by Hound Hour? And lots of them? Oh dear. Hey! Up here, quick! Okay, so the Pokemon just picked us up. It couldn't do that before? Okay then. That happened? <laughs> Alright. Way to go, for a second I thought you were both goners. Hey, where are you going? Going somewhere, buddy? Whoa, what's wrong? Maybe it used up all its power? What is this Pokemon anyway? It kind of looks like a Cyclozar, but... I've never seen one quite like this before. And now it looks so different from a minute ago. You think it's okay? It's hard to say. 
You can't tell either, huh, Eric? Well, all that aside, I'm seriously glad to have you back up here in one piece. You know, that battle down there was really something. You and this fella look uh, perfectly in sync facing down that Houndoom. What? You didn't even tell it what to do? I guess it's not like this poke like you're this Pokemon's trainer yet, huh? Oh good, looks like it perked up a little. Do you think this fella was the one making that mysterious cry we heard before? Oh man, oh man, oh man. The more I look at this Pokemon, the more mysterious it seems. If you do become its trainer, you gotta let me battle against it. Let's exchange numbers so we can get in touch if we somehow get separated again. Alright, sure. And here. This will let you teach your Pokemon a move to help it battle stronger opponents. So we got TM32 Swift. Alright, cool. Think before you use it though, TMs uh, can only be used once. You've both been through enough for a minute. I guess we better take a breather. Let's just get to the lighthouse. That'll be a good spot to relax. Alright. Okay, let's go. Yeah, we can't go that way yet. Okay, to the lighthouse. Why that little... What are you doing out here? Huh? I'm not talking to you two, you can shove off. Wait, I know you, aren't you Arvin? You're enrolled in the humanities track, right? And aren't you the son of that Pokemon researcher, Professor Turo? Doesn't matter who my dad is. The real issue here is, what in the world this Pokemon is doing out here? And what is it with this form it's in? I'm at the bottom of the cliff. See, we heard this strange cry and we tried to investigate, but Eric fell off a cliff. That Pokemon saved him, but it seems like it wore itself out in the process. It got kind of slumpy afterward. But you should have seen it before. It looked totally different. It was unbelievably strong. Well, yeah, as it should be, but it can't be. It can't fight while it's uh, like this. The form Maridon takes in battle. That's its true form. Maridon? Is that this Pokemon's name? How'd you know it? You can't go in the lab. It's locked. I don't remember ever seeing you around, but given the uniform, you go to the academy too, don't do you? Maridon isn't the sort of Pokemon that any old trainer can hope to command. It's special. Special how? What sort of Pokemon is it? You think you're up to ordering Maridon around? Then how about I test your worthiness? Sure. <laughs> well, look at you. Quite the little go-getter. I've been feeling out all sorts. So, I'm gonna use this battle to blast these doldrums away. Alright, so we are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Arvin. Arvin's got Squovet. Alright, Quaxley, let's see what we can do here. Though these memories are leaving a bad taste in my mouth, and I want it gone. Alright, let's water gun. Ah, two hit KO. Fight that. Uh, oh, we outspeed for good. I mean, this dude's an upperclassman and at least got to the school of it. Come on, dude. Get good. Alright, gaining some levels. Alright, we did it. Seems you know a thing or two about battle. Cool, we got 300 bucks for winning. Uh, 
wow, I reckon that was awesome. I guess I wasn't ever going to stand a chance using some Pokemon I'd only just caught. Oh, you just caught that. Fair enough. But if you really think you can take Maridon off my hands for me, you'll need this. It's the Pokeball that um, the brute's been that brute's been kept in. We got Maridon's Pokeball. Wait a minute, you had Maridon and you just let it go? That's weird. Pokeball that can hold the mysterious Pokemon known as Maridon. A boy named Arvin gave it to us. So why do you have it? Anyway, that thing's your problem now, not mine. Good luck. What? Oh, wait. Can you not hear me or something? Fine. Be that way. But you better actually have some explaining. Oh, what a weirdo. Alright, fine. I guess we got Mir we got Miride on. <laughs> Fair enough. That Arvin guy definitely knows more than he's letting on. Next time he and I are battling, I'm gonna wring some answers out of him. But, oh right, we gotta climb the lighthouse. Can't wait to show you the view of our school. Alright, we gotta go climb the lighthouse to, uh, see the view of the school. Alright, up we go. South Province Area 1. Alright, so I guess we are now able to go see the view of the school that Nimona wants us to see atop this lighthouse. And I guess we'll go check that out next time. So, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time when we continue our Paldean adventure in Pokemon Violet next time. Goodbye.